Welcome back, we're the Burn Junkies. I'm gonna find out what's in this. We got a new review for you today that Sean doesn't know about. You're welcome. Ooh. Can't wait, dude. Listen, and before everybody says, I told Sean this is a surprise. He didn't know we were doing this. The last couple surprises have been kind of shitter. My so surprise is not nearly as good as yours. This <laughs> surprise is not a shitter. It's a possible hitter. You should have warehouse C. Before the, I just want to, let's displace a lot of comments already, right? Let's just go do ahead, it though. Rip it. Is this hard to find? Yes. Is it impossible to find? Yeah. If Sean <laughs> wants to go back, which he won't, he's lazy. Look at another each Taylor label that we'll never see. We actually talked about how much, how this is a bottle we would never see this year nope. and how much it would be on secondary. A lot. Nope. You said 800. I said a thousand. It's different than both of those, far different. So anyways. What I want to say is, I know that this is completely unavailable, but we had the opportunity to do a review on it, so we have to say yes. We can't say no. This is Michael Klein's bottle. Oh. Yeah, and he let us borrow it for a review. So thank you, buddy, for letting us review it. I appreciate it, man. You're a child. Thank you. Can you turn your, your phone off for this review? Maybe? Nah, I'm not that busy. Okay, so new E.H. Taylor release for 2021. This is limited. They did this year. What was last year? The 18 year marriage? Yeah. Or two years ago was 18 year? I don't remember. I think it was last year. It's hard to keep them straight. There was a four grain in the past. There's been Sour Master. There's been the Tornado Survivor, all that stuff. So what we have to do for the inaugural E.H. Taylor Warehouse C is a double flip with a bottom bottle catch and a set on the box like an absolute champion, dude. Klein, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Don't do that. <sighs> I promised the people I would. Warehouse C. Want to know what's special about it? Warehouse C? Yep. It's It was aged in Warehouse C. It's all 10 years old. Okay. So it's actually the youngest of the... <laughs> bro, and I'm not trying to shit on it right now. All of the AH Taylors are in Warehouse C, number one. <laughs> number two, <laughs> the four grain was older. The 18 year marriage is older, obviously. Uh -huh. So the last three three releases have been older in the same warehouse. Mm -hmm. This is 3,000 on secondary right now. Four grain right now is under two grand on secondary. Wow. And nice. 18 year marriage is around two grand on secondary. Yeah. So this is the most expensive, the youngest, it aged in the same place. Really cool. Name. Different barrel selection, obviously. It smells really good. It smells fantastic. It smells oaky though, for being ten. Like yeah, mm -hmm. only ten, I guess. It when... Says ten on the back of it, so that's how we know. Aged for ten years in the very warehouse Colonel Taylor built. Hoover is San Diego. It smells fantastic. Dark fruits, like you said, a little oaky. Retails like eighty, I think. Tastes like each Taylor barrel proof, but at a hundred. So like you said, a single bro? Yeah. It smells really good. I, I love don't know. It. I, I, I don't know. I'm really Black happy berries. I'm drinking it. I just don't want to hype it up. You know? What do you mean the hype's there? I'm very torn right no, now. The hype's already exists. Hey, temperature update, not for all you who care. 80 degrees. Anyways. Ooh, while you're here. Like, comment, subscribe. Do that. It helps us out a ton. It does. Let's get like a- 3,000 likes. Oh, I was going to say 1,000. Three. Thousand likes, or and we're done Dave making YouTube videos. Oh, Ooh, for why are you? Why are you for three thousand likes? I will. <laughs> Listen, that's what I wanted to negate. Was we know it's hard to find. We know it's unavailable. Hey, you know what? It's not worth. I'm sorry, about two grand. It's not going to be worth three thousand dollars. But that's not the expectation. My expectation is not. Klein didn't pay three grand. He didn't pay anywhere near three grand. I know he's how much a little, he paid. It's got a little sizzle on there. It, it feels like a little over hundred proof. It's kind of got. Almost a, a slightly musty note on it. I don't know why. Like, I'm, I think I'm getting that with the, the oak. I get raspberries and cream. I agree. Every, There's so many good, uh, like, amazingly ripe fruits on the nose. Every stereotypical E.H. Taylor note is in there. Like, when I think of... Ooh, it like, tastes weird. It's got a combination of barrel proof and single barrel notes, though, like, kind of together. Like, it's got those darker fruits for me. Um, like you said, the blackberries, but a ton of the red fruit that always is, is in the single barrels. Single barrels, not this good. You're right. This lingers for a oh. long time. I know, but same proof, mm -hmm. same warehouse. <laughs> like, this is the thing. The single barrels can be 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So, like, all of the single barrels can be almost, like, technically identical to warehouse C, 
Obviously there's barrel differences here, but this is batch, not single barrel as well, but I get this weird overwhelming butter. Butter? Just straight butter, like in a good way, like good butter, hey. Kerrygold. Paula Deen. Not, I can't believe it's not. Settle down. But I can believe it's Kerrygold, you know what I mean? It's like oily, like it's like thick and creamy and it's like- thin. It's not thin. It's thin. Your palate's broke. It's, it's like water in my mouth. Oh, shut the hell, dude, I swear to God. She's a lingerer, and we got the old double flip on the single barrel. I wanna take that out of my hand before I double flip the foregrain while I look into your eyeballs, dude. What's up? This is a bottle flip episode, and if you don't like that, I do apologize, but a lot of people- Thought it was gone. So here we are. This is the last of my personal foregrain. Because you drank the last of our foregrain. No, I didn't. You gave it to somebody in Texas. I remember clearly. No, we drank it. So, again, you wanna touch tips? No? Okay. We're gonna pour a single barrel in one, four grain in the other, see which one's the best real quick. Four grain. Do you wanna grade that first? Um. I mean, at 80, it's a, it's a fantastic, listen, this at 80 is an A plus. The normal so single barrel. This at 80 is also an A plus. Right. This at 150, I still think is an A. Like this drink's very good. Sure. It's got everything that I like for oh, the e so, It does have a weird funk to it, I like that. It's got a little funkiness on it, for sure. And I think that's what lingers, is like that kind of spiciness, that light oaky. Smell this real quick, that's a single barrel. No, there's way more flavor in here than the single barrel. It's a barrel. lot brighter. It's way richer. This is way more delicate and light, like almost like emptier. I just don't know if I would be able to distinguish that as a special E.H. Taylor. You know what I mean? Like if I had that blind. I know, I think the hard part, I think what this is really adding a lot of is a finish. Yeah. The finish on this is fantastic. Super fruit forward, a lot of berries, red berries, fruit, uh, strawberries, raspberries, stuff like that. It also comes with this insane creaminess for me, like that I'm in love with. It's okay. Strawberries and cream, strawberry shortcake with a I'm little vanilla by, ice cream I'd on say that. the angel food cake Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, the it's vanilla not, from that. It's not, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I like that. I'm, a, I'm in love with this bottle. This bottle is an A for a decent price. This smells amazing yeah, too. Yeah, it does. Which one's better? Did you smell them next to each other at all? Uh, I think the four grain smells better. The Warehouse C has a must to it, it that four grain does not have a must. Called to. it right off the bat. Yeah. I know. That's weird. Did you fucking shoot that? Hmm? Buddy. <sighs> oh. I was like an ounce and a half of four grain. That's grains. amazing. Dude. I forgot how good four grain was. <sighs> Do it again. I'll get you drunk. I don't care. I'm going to have that entire hut tonight. <laughs> Drink responsibly though. You're not. <laughs> I actually regret that one, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm scared now, I'm scared. I don't know where this night's going. Dude, that four grain's incredible. I wouldn't know. Oh, I'm like Popeye on spinach right now, dude. I think four grain's better. I would say apples to oranges. Where, no, no, this, I feel like this offers a more dusty profile than four grain. Don't you think? Yes. Now, if you this like that. It feels like it's got a vintage. It does. Like taste. Four grain feels like one of the best bourbons I've had. Yeah. Like, okay. if you just say, what's one of the best bourbons and you say four grain, bourbon. I still oh, don't, I, think bourbon. I don't know, okay. I think a better way to look at this instead of just giving it a grade. Yeah. Obviously it's gonna be an A. Sure. Um, all, all the limiteds are A's, we like, each Taylor, everything. They're not well, limited or A. Yeah. At retail. So this being limited, what would you pay for it? I like that more. I, I feel like that's a better way to go yeah, at it instead I of agree. just saying it's an A. Let's pour, do a bar and, I'm in. And what would you pay just on the shelf? One time pour 50 bucks. To have the experience. I Walk was away say, I was say 45. Okay. So we're that's in the same, same ballpark. Shit. Yeah. If, if, because Expensive. If, if you walk into a fun. bar and say, I'm never going to have it again, and I'm never going to own a I'm, bottle. 50 bucks, ounce and a half. Yeah. One time ever. Now, if we're talking repeat, like I'm gonna drink a bunch of it, 25 bucks yeah. at a bar, but- you get a double for that. A bottle, man, I don't know, 300 something? See, I'm wondering, I'd stop at 200? Like 250, I think. If you walk into a store and these are both 300 bucks, you can buy one. With four grain. Yeah, same. Every other week. 100% I'm picking four grain. Yeah. Klein, thank you for real for letting us borrow this, buddy. He let us borrow his Weller Full Brew. Mm -hmm. He let us borrow his Ewer 17. Yep. So maybe let us borrow some monster whiskeys that yeah. we don't have access to. Yeah. So we appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. If you guys go check out Destination Bourbon, he has a YouTube channel. He live streams and stuff. From time to time, he puts out a video or two. You know what I mean? That's, he live streams. That's, listen, go hang out. Thank you, client. Appreciate it, buddy. We're back to normal. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Check out Patreon, Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, client.
Appreciate it, buddy.